Hey guys, it's Ezzy the Tactical Gamer here, giving you a new series, the Weapon Guide series. Um, this is just going to be a guide book on all the weapons in Black Ops 2. Uh, now, I'm definitely going to have tactics videos um, coming, uh, but I just thought this was more important to understand first, our weapons that we're using before we go back into tactics. Uh, what I'm going to aim to do is I'm going to cover every weapon of its class, then I'll give a final summary of the class as a whole. So first up is the Assault Rifles. I've already finished all the assault rifles and half of the SMGs. I spent a lot of time testing the weapons myself as there aren't any stats out yet. Uh, in fact, I think this will be the first YouTube video that will be to do with anything um, stats related for the weapons. I've tested out the damage at each range, I've tested out rounds per minute, and then I'm going to give you tips also and special features of each weapon so that you can actually use the weapon properly and know when to use that weapon. So let's dive straight into it. The MTAR is the Micro Tavor. It's used by the Israeli Defense Force and it's a smaller version of the Tavor, uh, specially made for the Special Forces. It's a great weapon in real life. You know, it's it's as good as the M4 because it changes the 5.56, yet it's a bullpup, so it's got a much smaller barrel so they can use it in close quarters. But unfortunately, in Black Ops 2, it's just not that great of a weapon. The MTAR has 30 rounds in its magazine and 90 in reserve. It's a full auto weapon. Its recoil is quite high uh, for an assault rifle, one of the highest ones, and its rounds per minute is around 666 rounds per minute, which is quite medium, kind of lowish for all the weapons. It does have pretty good damage, and it takes three to five shots to kill, and it can match submachine guns at the three kind of range, up to about 45 feet. But beyond that, it's just a you know a decent assault rifle. It can kill at range, but because of its recoil, it is quite hard to make sure you dominate in those areas. Uh, this weapon is probably best used as a good training weapon. You know, it's good at kind of most things, it's not too bad at everything, but it's just not the best at any of the categories. It does train you to burst fire because of that uh, recoil, and you, you know, if you are losing a lot of um, close quarters combat, and you do want to still have an assault rifle and don't want to switch to an SMG, this is a good gun for you. It is suited for small to mid-sized map, and it's just going to be a good training weapon to start off with, and you're just going to have to use it anyway because it is one of the first weapons that you unlock. Well, the attachments that I would recommend for this is firstly the foregrip because of the recoil. You do need to make sure you have foregrip to to get those shots on target, and I would recommend a silencer because you know it seems like a sneaky, sneaky kind of weapon. If you get the first shot off, you might still not win the battle because this weapon doesn't excel at any category. But if you get alongside someone, flank someone, you know, you'll still get the kills and it will be good training for that. Just don't expect to be able to win those long range battles. For the short range battles, you'll probably win most of them, but it's not the best in any of the categories. So just make sure you know that when you're using this weapon. But I would recommend swap to the next weapon as soon as possible. Use the Type 25 that I'm going to cover in the next video. If this video was helpful to you, make sure you like it so I can know to make, um, keep making more of these to help you out because I am very excited that I have finally finished all these stats. It took me a long time. Uh, yeah, give me a like, subscribe, comment to tell me what you want, and I'll see you in the next video with the Type 25.